and in 1972, our founder started this company um, out of his garage. It was sort of out of necessity. He was a recent graduate from the University of Nebraska at Omaha. He was a, or in Lincoln. He was a uh, uh, graduate from IIT in India who had came over here, got his MBA, and he had entered into a failed business venture, and he went to work for a small company in Omaha, Nebraska that uh, manufactured mobile homes. His boss came to him one day and says, Gupta, I need a list of all the people or businesses in the country that sell mobile homes. It's 1972. No such list exists. So what he does is he thinks about how can I get that list? And so what he did is he called uh, the telephone company. And in those days, it was still a monopoly, AT&T. He calls up and he says, can I get a, all the business directories or all the yellow page directories for every phone book in the country? And they said, no. You, I mean, you, you could, but it'll cost you a lot of money. He said, well, I don't have any money in my budget to do that, so I'm not going to do it. So a couple weeks later, AT&T calls him back and says, well, Mr. Gupta, your company has, in those days we called them watts lines, you know, the pre precursor to 800 numbers. You've got watts lines, and so because you have a watts line, you can get all the telephone books in the country. He said, send them, great, send them. So they send them, and so a semi pulls up a couple weeks later and unloads all these phone books, you know, like 4,500, 5,000 phone books. And his boss comes in, they put him in this office about the size of this stage, and they say to him, you know, well, here you go, Gupta, what are you going to do with these now? And his boss comes in, starts hollering at him, you know, you can't have all these phone books in here. So Vin makes a decision on the spot. He says, I'll take those books home with me, but I'll, I'll give you access to the data that I get out of them, but I get to keep it. This is not subject to work product. So he takes those phone books home, and he does a little pre-mailing, a little pre-market test, and people actually send him money for his list before he has a list. So now he's forced into building a list, right? So him and his wife and his friends, they literally go through the phone books page by page by page by page and compile a list by hand and send it out, get some money. And they just keep doing that. They keep expanding, you know, SIC code by SIC code, location by location, until finally... In 1987, they had now compiled the complete Yellow Pages. They had all the compilation in there. So now there's a process in place for a new book comes out, you do a new process, you update the database, and then by 1989, they started telephone verifying the data, which meant that now it becomes, it's got a characteristic that nobody else has. This business data of 15 million businesses in the U.S. and Canada has something that nobody else has. It's You've actually talked to a person at that business. Then you've asked them questions like, is this still your business? How many employees do you have? You know, how, how big are you? Where are you located? What's the contact name? What are your hours of operation? Those kind of things. It was a differentiating factor. So all this goes along for a while, and, you know, this is a, this is a great business, right? You get a, have a list. You can sell it, keep the list, sell it again. Keep doing that back and forth, back and forth, until finally, you know, the realization becomes that this thing makes so much money that we've got to find a way, or Mr. Gupta decided he needed to find a way to take it to the next level. So in 1992, he took the company public, and the revenue in 1992 was $48 million of selling lists, selling business lists. In those days, it was called American Business Lists. <laughs> then, in 1997, you know, after a a series of acquisitions. We started acquiring little companies where we had new data sources, new outlets, new uh, distribution channels. But in 1997, we did something that sort of changed the game. We bought a company right over here in uh, Montvale, New Jersey, Database America, that they did data processing. They took somebody else's data and, you know, mixed it all up and appended stuff to it. Mainly it was cleaning up the database, right? Taking out duplications, fixing the addresses, running it up against a national change of address file. But they also had a license for a consumer database. So we spent a bunch of money, jumped out there into the public debt arena, and acquired this company. Um, so at that point, we had a business database, we had a consumer database, and then we had all these data processing 
capabilities, right? So then in 1998, we changed our name to InfoUSA, and then we bought some list brokerage companies. And this list brokerage business is really in this tri-state area. It's just right around here. You know, right now, we have a building in uh, Pearl River, New York, where we've got, I think, no less than three, no, actually it's four, four list companies that we <coughs> bought. And all these guys are like, you know, mortal enemies since they were this big. And we bought them, and we put them all in the same building. We make them work together. So that's pretty fun, right? That's, that's a challenge. Can I ask you to hold it right there? Sure. Thank you. Grab a seat right there. 